Hello, it's Saturday. The, uh, what is it? Oh, we don't even know, do we? 13th of July. Yeah, 13th. Is it 13th? Yep. Lucky for some. Um, yeah, we were in, still in Normandy and we've come to the um, D-Day experience. I think it's supposed to be one of the best um, <clears throat> museums, Dead Man's Corner. Um, and um, apparently the Germans used it as a, um, what was it? <laughs> Back in a minute. Right, we've got it. Originally, it was a headquarters for the German paratroopers before being taken over by the Americans. Right, yeah, and it was, it's called um, Dead Man's Corner because of a, um, an American commander, uh, tank commander, whose corpse was um, found in the turret. So I mean, that's why it's called uh, the turret of the tank. That's why it's called Dead Man's Corner. All right, <laughs> glad we got that out. But anyway, here it is. So let's go in there, have a little look, and uh, see if it's all what it's supposed to be. I can hear like bombs. Or, there's like a, it's like a film running in there. I can hear like bombs and stuff going on. So let's go in there and uh, I'll tell you how much it is in a minute as well. So I just, just about go out, go in, walk around the corner and saw this. Look at that. Quite nicely rusted, look. Original mud. That's got to be 80 year old mud and God knows what else. Oh, do you reckon that's the um, tank that the um, American commander was found dead in? Nah, it must be the blown up one, must not it? it? must be another one. Why would it be dead in that? It's intact. Wow. That's mad that that was bombing along 80 years ago. Right. Let's get in there and have a little butchers. Nine pound, and if you want all the whole, whole family. I think that's a cinema and... I don't know what that is. Let's find out. This way. Well, apparently, we've got a flight thing, simulator, and the museum, so... I think it's all the museum, but we'll go in this house here. German Which is where the... Uh, I don't know what happened here, actually. Um, we'll go down here and have a look. I think we'll go in there. This here is that, that house. Uh, that is where the uh, German, uh, American commander got left for dead. Four days they left him there hanging out of the gun. Hang on a minute. Oh, got time for that one. Do like a loony bin. Uh, anyway, I was saying, four days they left him there hanging out of the gun turret, blasted and burned to death. It wasn't that they didn't care. He was one of theirs after all, but they were hard pressed. The dead will, would have to wait right now. They only have time to shoot and survive. So that's the, that's the gun. So is that that? I think it is. That is, it's that. So for four days, the American commander was hanging out over that turret. Probably from the top. Man, they still got the guns in it, look. Shit. There's a gun there, look. Gun up there, and the one up the top there. Why does everyone look at me like I'm not supposed to be here? Right, let's move. No, God, out of bounds. Who knows? Right, well, this is the house. Germans. Grenard. It's time to go for here. Oh, because it was used as a hospital, weren't it? Saturday and it is very very busy. Communication. Oh look at this. Whoa. 
What is this? It's getting very dark and dingy. It's a folding bike for that. Where's my name in the back of the van? So Raymond Geddes, wounded in that dead man's corner on the 8th of June 1944, so two days after D-Day. He's a radio operator. There's a tank in here. There he is there. So I wonder why he's not in it. That's the one, that, that's the one that's outside. Yeah, that's, that's definitely the one that's outside. Oh, they're the detonators, yeah. They're definitely the detonators. Shit. Some big old guns. Grenade. Grenade. <coughs> Picture. Please look. Helmet there was. Quite got this. That's a bullet hole, isn't it? That's definitely a bullet hole. Look at that. Look. Yeah, Mark. Look. There's a gun for you. Look at that. All these guns, look at the old um, American US Army guns. 225 euros. Not even guns and knives. Five, 600 quid. Why are they still here though? For 600 quid? Why is it taking like, all these years to sell them? Unless they're not from here. They're just like guns or maybe the price has got something to do with it, I don't know. Blimey, we might want to have a field day in here. Whoa! There's a lot for sale. That is for sure. Whistle. 65 euros for a whistle. Oh my god. What's Andy found? Cigarettes. Chewing gum. But as first part of the museum, um, we seem to have got caught up in this group and we're trying to get in there before all this. I'm not even I'm not getting involved with any of that. That little bike. Do you reckon that still runs? I don't think it started. Pathfinders, 101st Airborne Pathfinders. What's that, like a little radar? Yeah, look, there's actually a parachute there. That's actually a parachute. Look at this, Mark will be here for eight hours. Look at them all. I bet you could name all of these. Is that Rupert? That is Rupert. Is that what they were? I thought they were much bigger than that. Oh, we're just waiting to go into the... Um, Simulator, which is in, in there. Um, I think it's like some plane simulator or something. But we went and got the ticket anyway, so we're in the simulator. I don't know what it is. Everyone's coming in. I think we're in some bunker. Maybe this is where they're trying to sort of simulate. Exciting. Are we in some bunker? We're having a briefing. We're having a briefing. You say thunder, and then the response is welcome. I guarantee you, no German will be able to correctly pronounce these words. So, if you hear thunder or welcome, kill it. Dog tags. So we know who to send our condolences to. One dose of morphine. If you are wounded and an enemy hears you scream, you will not last long. Use your morphine. It is in your med kit. This is your med kit. Do not use it for another wounded soldier. Use his kit. I hope you never have to use it. We're getting on the flipping Dakota now. Shit. See you in drop zone D. <laughs>
it. We're still in the Dakota. We've, we've binned it. I hope you can hear me. And now I think we're burning to death. Right, let me just explain that. Um, we did the simulator in this uh, D-Day experience place at Dead Man's Corner. It's worth it. You get in there, um, and you go into like a, like a makeshift Dakota. Um, takes off and does all the simulation and everything like that and you get all the turbulence and you start going over into Normandy and all the... Hold on a second. That's a glider, isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> um, and then all the turbulence and all the bombs and that will go off around you and there's all the boats on the floor and on the sea that you can see. Um, and then we get hit. You get hit and then you go down and you bin it into like a field, I'm assuming. And then it all starts catching on fire and stuff like that. Um, I thought we was dead for a minute, but um, yeah, and then it all just sort of stops, but it's, yeah, it's worth it, it's well worth it. Then you come out into the museum again, which is here, and there's Andy. Cocking boots. Oh, I forget his name. What's the, that's the parachutist. Um, he's got the old foot there because he got shot in the foot. Is he the paratrooper para who got caught on the um, church? No, he's on the church. And that he got shot, didn't he? He dropped, he dropped his knife from where he was trying to cut himself down. Dropped his knife. German looked up and shot him in his foot and actually dead. I think that was John Steele from that last clip. Look at this. All the ammo they must have had. Radio. Gun. Mega gun. Exercise bike. Oh, they've got to set up an author, haven't they? Big tank. He looks a little bit freaky. Oh, they've captured, they've captured a German, look, and given him the American flag. Andy, look. They've captured a German and given him the American flag. Cool, he is. Pretty good, isn't it? That's the hotel. What's there? I wonder where that is. I wonder if I can go find it. If I find it, I'll let you know. There's a souvenir shop. And he's getting a sticker for Ed. And uh, we're getting out of here. This is what I like about France. They have like um, panini machines and uh, tacos and also. Um, uh, like pizza machine, just everywhere, just anywhere. Just could be, just be anywhere. Oh, chorizo cheddar. Four fromage and jambon. Chicken curry. Poulet curry. What, in a, in a, in a thing? Oh, I think I'm going to have to get one. I'll tell you what, you know what pictures and the real thing is like, so let's get one and I'll show you what it's like. I've just yeah. paid. Yeah, no. Let's see what it does. Your jambon and mental. Emmental. Oh, he's on its way. Oh yeah, look, it's giving you like a time thing. Okay, we'll be back when that's at the end. Right, let's see. The letterbox is quite big, so I'm expecting something spectacular here. Let's see. That must be about 10 seconds left. Yeah, it does actually smell really nice. Is it, there we go. Your jambon. Emmental is on its way. This way, okay. Oh, it's doing, it's doing something. Is this going to be like a mass disappointment? <laughs> what the? <laughs> Flipping out, it's been steamrolled. <laughs> ah, ah, I tell you what, it's very hot. <laughs> it's been steamrolled as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And dangerously thin. <laughs> Is it a letdown? Is it a letdown? I can't bear the suspense. Can't. Go off. Take a bite. Take a bite. You take a bite. Crikey, it's flattened. That's about 10 mil thick. Careful. That is Drop absolutely that. Bang Right, well, that is really thin. There you go. I'm a fit bureau. Oh, you put the flies in there. What's in there? No, in there. I'm going to go mm. and 
Alright, all right. come in. It's alright if you're starving. Right, we've we done it at the museum. It was good, really, really good. A um, lot of stuff in there, everything like that, all good. Um, if you do go, go and do the simulator as well. That's, that's quite good. But there was a 3D cinema that you could do as well. We didn't do that, so I can't really comment. But anyway, I've come to a church. Now, I don't know if I can get in there or not. I'll show you in a minute. It's called Eglise Saint Com. It's at Damien uh, de Angoville au Plain. I'm really sorry about my pronunciation, but it's horrendous. But anyway, I pulled up outside and there is, look, there's a Jeep here, like the American Jeep. I don't know what he's doing there, but it is there. That's mad. Um, and then obviously a memorial. Um, but apparently, in this church, no, um, I think that you could, that there's, I don't know, like bloodstained pews or something? I don't know how that can be because it's 80 years ago, isn't it? It doesn't like blood evaporate, you know, I don't know. Maybe it is. You know, look. Now, oh, paratroopers. So, all the paratroopers, we're, um, you know, coming down here and everything like that, big battles, everything like that. But apparently, they used that church as a bit of a hospital, I think, for the Americans and the Germans. I think they helped, helped Germans as well that were injured. Um, so, I'm thinking we go through that open gate and have a little look. I always think to myself, you know, 80 years ago, what it was actually like here, like right in the thick of it. Obviously disastrous and everything like that, but, you know, all the, these buildings are here. They're, they're, they're older, older than 80 years old, aren't they? Like this wall. A lot of it looks like it's been touched up, like, um, like repointed. So me and our Andy are going to go in. All right, let's see if it's true. I don't know what I'm looking at. Is this the door? Is it in there? Should we go in there? Um, hello? Oh, no way. Oh my god. Oh, what the? What's the mess? Again, I don't know what I'm looking at. I do know that it was. Um, used to help um, the injured and stuff. I just don't know. Where. It is. Oh it's that. It's that here there. <coughs> Let's see if we can find it. Right where well, that is on. The right hand side up there. Has to be. I think it's quite a big blob. God, I don't even know if I should be filming in here or not. Where? Oh, is that what it is? Do you reckon that's blood out? I don't know. Oh, really? But why is it there? Oh, someone wants to sit there, of course. Yeah, so it's true then. That's the one, there it is. <coughs> I wonder whose it is. I suppose it's bits everywhere. Is that, is that stuff as well? It's got to be in it. Sixes Yuan, 1944, paratroopers. Oh, that's good, isn't it? I'll tell you what, one day I'm going to come here. Yeah. We 
it's probably my nephew because uh, even though we're here Very, very true. <coughs> very humbling in there, I must say. Um, right, me and Aranda are getting out of here now, and uh, we are going to make our way to Utah Beach. I uh, haven't seen it yet, um, so that is where we're going. That's a bit of a mad church, weren't it? <coughs> One of them uh, things. I'll tell you what, if you want to go to Normandy, there is loads here. I mean, I'm not joking, you can go from one thing to the next, to the next, to the next, to the next. You know, it's really, really, really good. Uh, but we're going to uh, Utah Beach now, haven't been here before. Um, and that is down there. Um, I'm not sure what's down there, but <coughs> whatever it is down there will be next. Well, we're getting closer. Got the old American tank there with the Utah Museum. Uh, I don't think we're going to go in there. A little bit museumed out, to be fair. Hang on, that's a bunker. They've made it out of a bunker, haven't they? Well, they've just built onto it, you reckon? Let's have a look. They have, haven't they? Have they? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah they have. They've, they've, built, they've built onto it. How mad is that? Well, look at that for a memorial. It's good, isn't it? No. That's when he'll come running off the, off the old Higgins boat there. She go on it? Got it, haven't we? Do you think this is a real one that they've left here? Got a bit in it, surely. It's been painted enough. Let's have a look. Oh, there's the old steerer, look. Let's see. I mean, let's just like forward and go and lift and right. How many people can you get on there? Quite a few, can't you? Oh, apparently they're all like being sick and God knows what. <coughs> but I think they, were, they thought they were going to go the day before, didn't they? So it was another day or something and I think they were all a bit like tired and that from waiting. I mean, a lot of them were throwing up. Yeah. What a great so they actually look real. Exactly awesome. Right. Love it. Gentlemen's been to the giants. Yay! Good, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry, I'm just. You want to say hello? Hello. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's where we were. Just can appear to have you. Look at that. I'm not sure what all this is. Looks like some sort of numbers. Oh. Yeah, all the names and stuff. Naval gunfire support destroys battleships and cruisers. Wow. And this here <coughs> is Utah. So right in the distance, that's going to be Omaha, Gold, Juno, and all that like over there. It looks like it's actually chucking it down, doesn't it? And this here ties in yet again is Utah. Yeah. I wonder what's underneath all that sand. Oh, I wonder. The old Higgins boat <coughs> was actually designed by Andrew Jackson. Higgins, um, he, was designed, he designed and manufactured it. Uh, World War One landing craft. And it's Higgins boat. The only reason I know that is because there he is. Uh, I'll give you another little pause if you want to do that. Yeah, so he done it all. And uh, yeah, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. They sent engineers just to create a bridge in the wall and after which the road behind. So in 1944, saw the dumb was behind with the pink Don't know what he said, but didn't feel very welcome. Alright, let's have a little look. This is the beach. Let's go down and have a it's gonna sit somewhere. Yeah, proper look. Bonjour. <laughs> oh, I wonder what this is here. Oh. What does it say? June 
This is um, uh, Utah. Wow, look at this. Look, you can see the bit where it goes, that's um, Omaha and all that. Look, it must have been packed here, mustn't it, really? I wonder if them houses were there. Man, look. It's all uphill, isn't it? Like, every beach I've been to, pretty much, as soon as they come on, it's uphill, uphill, uphill. Then behind they're having a tour. So I suppose if you're on a tour, I suppose that's what it looks like. It's looking very, very, very dodgy in the weather front. We keep missing it though. <clears throat> Do me Ed. Just. Right, let's get back out. Find Ed. Right, walking down this little lane. Um, to Marmion's farm. Um, I think the Americans captured this, didn't they? Um, and then used it as a hospital, did they? Um, to treat all the wounded and all that sort of stuff. Oh yeah, this is it. But do you know what, I think I've got some for, um, bef like before and now photos. Yep, this is it. This is definitely, definitely, definitely it. Whoa. Right. Let's see if we can recognise anything. Hmm? This is all sort of Americans, mate. How mad is that? How mad and mental is it to be in here? Right, I'm going to try and do something. Right, before and now. Then and now, I meant. Right. That's got to go a lot far, a lot closer to about there because it's a wide lens. Can you see that? So it's the two, it's about there. Look at that. You can see the um, bit of wall sticking out on the right hand side. Obviously that door's got a gate in it. The two windows to the left and the right of the door. That's it. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm gonna do another one there, hang on. <laughs> Mariam's farm, still. I've got another one, I'm going to try and attempt it. Um, I'll show you the picture first. It's there. There's a cutout, like a door there, a rounded door there. And obviously you've got like a rounded uh, square door to the right hand side. And in between the two right hand and uh, two soldiers, the two and the three on the right hand side, you can see like a little lintel, like a little square window. It's obviously all behind them. I think it's there, so it would be like, the picture is like that, obviously with all the soldiers in front of it, can you see it? That's where that was taken, I'm pretty sure I got that, there, that's better, little curved door on the left, square door on the right, and you can see a little lint of a window. That's it there. And there's me. I got another. Right, it's actually starting to rain, so I'll be quick. That picture there. See the curvature in the door? That's there. Isn't it? How cool is that? That's right there. Yep, that's definitely it. Oh, this is getting well good. Just so clever. Right, see you later. It's starting to rain. Great little places. And I'll say it again. Do the Normandy, don't delay, obviously, because it's there's just so much to see. Oh my gosh, chuck it down. Back to the chopper. Back to the chopper. <laughs> Get in head. Everybody move out. Definitely go to that Marmion's farm. Really, really good. We're going to get a quick photo though, because we are now in. <laughs> well, let's go and see what we got here. Well, young Ed, yeah, has made it to some Mary Grease. And he's just getting a car park ticket. Look over the top of the motorhomes, look. That's the tower where John Still parachuted in. You can see on the left hand side the parachute. We're going to have a much closer look. Right, left back, head back there, we're going into the actual town now. Blimey, it's got so much tourism, tourism here, it's turned into like a little town. 
souvenir shops everywhere and restaurants and that. Fair play though. So we're just going to go down to there and have a look. There it is. Oh, that's got some bits missing, and I thought I'd see a lot more bullet holes. I oh, know, but oh, I did find it at the church. Oh, there's loads missing there, that. Oh, there he is up there, look. That's where we landed, Mr. Mr. Steel. Johnny boy. John? This is the square where it all happens. God, can you imagine being up there, right? And it was all kicking off down here. If you watch the longest day, it was all kicking off, all down here. And when he got when John got his um knife out to cut himself down, he dropped it. So I'm assuming it hit down there, down there. Alerted, it alerted a uh, German soldier and he shot up there and shot his foot. Well, he's still there. Four o'clock in the afternoon in 2024. Right, we, we have been asked to go in. Because apparently the stained glass windows are awesome. And look at this one, look, look. Got little paratroopers on it. Got the old paratroopers on it. It's pretty good, awesome. No blood on no benches, don't think. Right, that's the church. It's well good, isn't it? I love that stained glass window. I think it's bloody brilliant. It's definitely turned into a flipping hairdresser's look. It's a proper little town now, this is. I bet it weren't then. There's a cafe over there. Gagging for a fry up. I don't think they do fry ups, do they? Right, Johnny Boy. Johnny Boy still. Take it easy, Monsieur. 2003 R1, I guess. Uh, we are going to go into Le Petit Soy. Do what? No, what about caramel with there? Oh, look, it's like the ice. Put two caramel pears. Yep. Are you stand on the floor? Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> you must be seven foot. Uh, one meter ninety-five. You're taller than one ninety-five. I'm six foot seven. Are you? Yeah. Oh, you're uh, what, are you six foot what? Seven foot. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Absolutely awesome. <laughs> now I've forgotten what I want. Uh, de Caramel uh, Eclair. Uh, it's coffee. Oh no, not coffee. Oh, coffee? coffee. Yeah. Totally. No, 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 no. What about this caramel thing here? D di, 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 this one is caramel, yeah. What is, what is that? We have a caramel inside. And oui. a little uh, almond. 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 Yeah. Should we have an image? Yeah. yeah. De, de, please sir. Civil play. And the spoon. Okay. <laughs> We've got to cut the noise, cut the noise coming up. I mean, did you see the size of him? <laughs> it was I mean, it's really rare. I mean, I'm 6'7", and it's quite rare that I see someone taller than me, but I noticed him straight away. It was like a, it was like a head taller than me. He, he was seven foot something, he was. And I felt like a midget. And Andy, poor Andy, felt like a midget. Just noticed something. There's old Johnny. Yeah. I'm just noticing this square, there's this thing. I need to have a look back on, um, uh, the longest day because he's looking down on this square on the, in, the, in the film and I'm just wondering if that's there because there is it doesn't look new I thought it was a memorial but it's not I, I think this was there originally and there's bloody holes in it I wonder if this was here this bit is taken out of it look, I don't know how well you can see this look at this look pew 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 I wonder I need to find out I reckon that was here. I reckon that was here when it was going off here. D Day. Gonna find out. Just mind blowing stuff. Yet again, another little town, St. Mary Glees. Uh, that's where the parachuters, uh, paratroopers come in. Old Johnny Steele was the one who got landed on top of the church. Um, yeah, it's all here. An another place. Uh, say it again. If you want to do a Normandy tour, it, 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 there really is one thing after the other. Um, you can have busy days here and, and probably still not see it all. 
Well, I totally forgot about this. Oh, that is gooey. Hmm. 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 Well, that was nice. Um, well, what we found is there's a um, a church near here. Um, I can't remember what it's actually called, but apparently um, in the graveyard, there's like a couple of graves with like a fence around it. And apparently that's got a German bullet stuck in the fence. So we're gonna go and find that. That was a really nice bit of cake and all that. But we've moved from um, St. Mary Glees and we've come to, I don't know how to say it, Corquigny. Corquigny, Cor 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 oh, I don't know. But I've heard about this church because and I believe it when I see it, but um, there was an American firefight here with some Germans, and I think them railings have got um, bullet holes in. I think. And I think that there is an actual bullet wedged in there, but I I'll believe it when I see it. I mean, it does look like there's a bit of, uh, like some broken, uh, yeah, those are broken ones. Oh, there is, look. Andy, look, look. Yeah, look, done by American bullets, look. Where's the bullet? Oh, I can see it, I can see it. Yeah. Yeah, is it? And that, that's a bullet. That there is an actual bullet, an American bullet. No way. It is. So that's come from that direction. God, you can see where it's blowing up. I can see him everywhere actually now I'm looking over that side. But look at that, it's caught a... Oh, that is absolutely awesome, isn't it? Oh, wow. It's actually in there as well because that's yeah. fat. Top's missing as well. Some of the tops are missing. Yeah, that's great. What's that say? Nothing. Oh, wow. Look at that, there's a hand. Sorry, whoever's in there. Look at this. Look at, look at that hand, look, look. That's well bent up. Mm. Oh, how cool is this? I did see some more around the side here. Yeah, it was a proper German, uh, American f fight or something. Look at them, look. Isn't there? Oh, yeah. This is why I, I like real life stuff like this. <laughs> oh. That's been blown straight off. A couple of them, them graves are obviously there then. Yeah, them graves were obviously there at the time. Must have been. The fence wouldn't have been here otherwise, would they? And who's in there? Wow, so it's true. It was actually true. The bullet is still in there. Man. That is quality, isn't it? What a find. That's bloody brilliant. This is just to the um, west of uh, St. Mary Glees. I mean, it's like literally four miles away. Man. I just noticed something. 1958, so that wasn't there. That m m might have been there. That definitely was. Think? Hmm. There is little marks, you know, in a lot of the headstones and stuff. I think these ones are here, maybe. Yeah, there's just little bits missing. That's where it is there. Yeah, Cognoy. Cognorty or, or whatever it is on that sign that I showed you. Um, go to that place and it's the church. Real life bullet hole. But what we're gonna do 
can get back in there and go and find something for the night because we've had another busy day. So, there he is. Let's move out.